Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older and in this episode, we have departed company with our dear old friends and heading up to the southern part of Lake Garda. So we made Lake Garda here at Camping Ticlio on the southern coast. And we're going to go for a bike ride tomorrow. It's very peaceful. Here we are on Lake Garda, having a little cycle round. We're having a bit of a nightmare. That's why I've got a slow flat and we didn't have any repair because it's tubeless. And then we found out we didn't have a tyre pump for the dog's bike trailer. So we've been stopping at all the shops. But here we are on Lake Garda. There won't be much filming because we don't know what we're doing. And we're running out of time quickly. just found a dog park so they can have a little run around and we're going to stay with the bikes and in the distance there is Lake Garda as we were checking the weather um, we ha sadly had to quickly leave Lake Garda and head up to Murano so that we wouldn't be caught in any snow storms So we're staying at Schneebergoff and starting off the walk down to Murano to have a look round before it goes dark. I think it's nice. It's yeah. Half hour walk, nice setting, isn't it? 24 degrees up in the Italian uh, mountains, and there was only two spaces <laughs> left out of 60 when yep. we got here. Just before two? Was Just it? before two o'clock, can you believe it? So we've had to squeeze into uh, the only space that was big enough to accommodate us because the other one was too, too short. Small. Just the one night, then we're moving on. 
and down there behind the vines oh maybe I'll come up is Murano we're gonna have a little shifty round Murano is a historical spa town located within a basin surrounded by mountains which are over 10,000 feet, 3,000 metres high. It is characterised by spacious parks, easy walking routes, botanical gardens and waterways. Uh, half the residents here speak Italian and the other half German. Murano boasts several festivals throughout the year, including a wine one, which we were slightly too early for, unfortunately. And from the beautiful Murano, we headed further through into the Italian Alps to a place called Curran Venasta or San Valentino alla Malta. Okay, leaving Schnauzkopf and Schneebhoff campsite near Murano. Lovely walk in yesterday. But we're heading out because the weather's about to change and we don't want it. So this little place is called San Valentino, Saint Valentino. This is Lake San Valentino Alla Muta. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. It's a beautiful hiking and Nordic walking route which proceeds around the lake. And from the far you can see the mountains of King Orkles, which is about 3,905 metres high, among other partly glaciated mountains of Orkles Alps. In winter it freezes quite early and attracts ice boat runners and snow kiters.
Curon Finosta is in northern Italy and is located on the border with Austria, Switzerland and Italy. So just doing a quick walk around the other lake at the top. Couple of sinkholes there. Amazing scenery. Unfortunately, the sun has gone and it's cooled down a lot. mountains in the back they've informed me are around 10,000 feet and some of the highest in the area. Pretty spectacular from here. And then we go on this side of the dam. Uh, the Resin Reservoir is about six kilometers long it has an area of 7 kilometers squared. The volume of water is about 120 million cubic meters. It generates 250 million kilowatts of electricity per year. Um, and in the process of making this artificial lake, 170 houses have been blown up. 120 farms lost their livelihoods and about a thousand people, 150 families, were displaced by the disaster. I say dis disaster, but it was actually organised by the Italian government. Lake Reshin is famous for the steeple of a submerged 14th century church which has been left to stand as a historic mon memorial. In the winter months when the lake freezes over it is possible to walk right up to the steeple and some people can say you can still hear the bells ringing even though they've already been removed. Thank you for watching and as always please like, share, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time. Bye!